Alright guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how could Blizzard bring back people to TBC Classic but also getting some new faces. I apologise my voice sounds a bit weird or a bit nasally in the video. I've unfortunately caught a flu again. Fortunately it's not COVID this time though. But anyway, let's jump into the video. So as many of you know, Microsoft have bought Blizzard. Okay, this could mean that the future World of Warcraft subscription model could be included with Microsoft Game Pass. If you don't know what Microsoft Games Pass is, basically subscribe to Microsoft, pretty similar to how you subscribe to WoW, but you get access to a number of different games. This would be really cool because WoW players could get some free games, but also people will be able to try out World of Warcraft for essentially for free if they already have the Game Pass. It would also be interesting if Retail World of Warcraft was revamped to be more console friendly by Microsoft in the future so that people can actually play World of Warcraft with the Game Pass but also play it on Xbox. Obviously that is quite a controversial idea, I'm not saying whether it's a bad idea or a good idea but that would definitely bring a lot more people back to the game. Obviously a big turn off for many people is how long it takes to level up in World of Warcraft, particularly obviously TBC Classic. We're less patient gamers now in this day and age and it's why it's now much faster to level up in retail World of Warcraft and this is why I think Blizzard should do increased experience weekends a couple of times a month where we get something similar to the Season of Mastery experience buff, you know 100% extra XP from quests, although I prefer that to also include experience gain from mobs. This would encourage a lot of people to return to the game because they could level a new character much faster, plus the lower level content will get much more life to it because people who are already playing will want to level some alts. You'll be surprised how many people I get on my streams who ask me, is it too late to start TBC Classic, who are on the fence about returning? And I tell them, no, just, you know, just crack on. It's never too late to start playing TBC Classic. But a lot of people feel like, you know, they're going to be too far behind. I feel like an experience boost for the weekend would definitely encourage people to come back without having that feeling that they're going to fall behind too much. And they could also extend this by having a reputation gain boost as well. So when it comes to actually gaining level 70, you can speed up on gearing your character by getting reputation gear. Another thing that they could do, although this is very controversial, I think a lot of people would think this is quite a bad idea, some people might think it's a good idea, again, I'm not saying what I think about it, but if they include a level 58 boost for people who buy 6 month subscription, either on retail or for TBC Classic, then obviously people would definitely come back to playing TBC Classic. I know I'm not really keen on the level 58 boost myself, but I still think giving people a character boost for 6 month sub is much better than giving someone a crappy mount. But obviously having access to 2 character boosts on one account, probably a very bad idea when you bear bots in mind. Now one of the other things I think that could potentially put off new players from playing TBC Classic is how dated the graphics are. I mean, personally, I think they've aged very well, but that's mainly probably my nostalgia goggles. But considering how old the game is, it doesn't really bother me that much. But I think, you know, if we're dealing with younger players here, they're going to be very put off by looking at how, you know, how good of a character or how bad the character models look in classic World of Warcraft. Because they've been growing up with games like Elden Ring, Red Dead Redemption, and Cyberpunk. But obviously they can't just go and revamp the graphics for TBC Classic and make them look like retail because that would displease many of the hardcore TBC Classic players. But what they could do very easily is make a HD mode similar to Halo Anniversary, where you can essentially switch between retail and classic graphics. If you're thinking that this wouldn't work, and Blizzard wouldn't be able to do anything like this because you can't have players playing with old graphics and then some players playing with the new graphics, well... That's a load of cod's wallet because I've done it personally on private servers. All you have to do is import the race and mob models. So if modders can do it and then give people of access to those mods for them to do it themselves, then Blizzard can definitely do this. In fact, many people on all private servers do actually play with updated character models and also mob models. So it's pretty simple to do. There could just be a toggle mode in the graphic settings where you just turn it on and then you reset your game, and then, there you go, you've got the new graphics, and if you want the old graphics, then, you know, rinse and repeat the process. 
Obviously, a big thing that really puts people off from playing TBC Classic is the botting epidemic. I've talked a lot about this on the channel, you know, I don't want to talk about it that much again. We all know that it's pretty bad. Blizzard needs to get a bigger GM team, first of all. From my personal experience, I'm getting faster responses to tickets in-game, so maybe they are actually working on this and getting a bigger GM team. But they could be way more intelligent about how they capture bots. They could nerf certain gold farms as well, so the bots find it harder to actually farm gold. And I go back to my, my capture or my verify human method. If a player kills multiple mobs over and over again without turning in or accepting any quests, they should have to verify that they are a human, you know, every hour or so. I think a very simple step like that would deter bots drastically, to the point where population of bots would decrease dramatically, to the point where it's not that much of an issue. Well, at least I think it'd just be much better than it is right now. And the last thing we need to add is dual spec. Do I even need to explain why TBC Classic needed dual spec? Truth of the matter is, Without dual spec, players are very restricted to what content that they can do, unless they have a vast amount of free time, or more free time than the average person to farm gold to respec all the time. For instance, people who want to do a little bit of PvP and a little PvE, just it's very difficult for you to do that because obviously the optimal PvP spec is normally very different to the optimal PvE spec. Anyway guys, those are the top 5 things I think Blizzard can do in the future to bring people back to TBC Classic. I'm not specifically saying to TBC Classic, it's just more to back to Classic in general and back to World of Warcraft in general, to be honest too. And you know, obviously it's more of a long-term thing. By the time Wrath of Lich King turns up, maybe Blizzard will fully, you know, give more power to Microsoft and allow them to revamp Blizzard games by doing stuff like including World of Warcraft in the Game Pass making World of Warcraft console friendly to the point where it can actually be playable on console. Things like that would definitely bring back a lot of new players to the game. I mean, other MMOs have done it in the past and proven that it is possible for, you know, console and PC to be cross-platformed on the same MMO. But anyway guys, that's going to be the end of the video there. My name is Minigoblin, to my next video, ciao.